Hello guys, welcome to the Easy Pediatrics webinar on how to make an OBS overlay by using the simple tool like Microsoft PowerPoint. To whom it may help? It may help teachers, podcasters, YouTube video makers, webinar makers or DIY video makers. To all of them, this will help act more professionally and look more organized and cool on the webinar or a video podcast. Well guys, you might have questioned that what is an overlay which is used for an OBS broadcast. So let's understand first what is an overlay. Well, most of us might be needing the OBS to run mainly two functions to record mainly two things. One is our the screen capture, which is our monitor, and the second is our own video frame, which is when we are talking as well as we are teaching whatsoever going on on the monitor. So that has to be recorded. But doesn't this look non-professional? So how can we make it more professional? That's by using an overlay. So that's how we need an overlay for using it for a broadcast on YouTube, on webinar, on a teaching seminar and many more. But don't you think friends that this, this looks much more professional because here I'm speaking to you on a small video screen. There is an overlay which is there which is helping me take my monitor capture to one side of the screen and more organized there is my name there is a logo of the particular organization i am representing and that's how the overlay looks to be more organized more professional looking don't you think so or this can look even more professional when i'm using a simple overlay for broadcasting a particular webinar on fluid and electrolytes in newborn in my profession or if you are a game uh, broadcaster or bro game recorder this is also one of the way how you can look more intelligent more pro or professional on broadcasting the game isn't it a cool way of uh, doing a broadcast for the game recording overlay can be also classic one like this where very sober colors have been used and it looks classic and artistic so now let's learn a practical demonstration of how to make an overlay using the Microsoft PowerPoint. Friends, these were some of the slides which I have already demonstrated to you. They have been really good and look more professional when you used as an overlay for a particular broadcast. Since I have already demonstrated, I am not going to detail them. Let's see how we can do it. First of all, you have to open a Microsoft PowerPoint then select a particular picture and you lay down as a background picture into particular slide after laying down this particular picture you have to insert two rectangular shapes into them first of all the first shape will be there for the host or the narrator's video to go the another shape which you can put here will go as a video capture or the gaming uh, particular area figuring that out you can always adjust and crop them according to your need make sure that this particular video screen goes as as if a 16 by 9 uh, picture or video could go inside then you have to add uh, the name for this particular thing i already uh, made few text uh, for this so I have select this text particularly as a title I'll copy that down and I'll put this particular text here so that looks nice and that goes as a title for this particular video now next text will be required for the name of the particular host I already typed it and kept it ready just to save the time so I'll copy that down to this particular thing what we are making and here is our particular uh, name text then you can also add the logo 
to this particular thing to make it look more pro or the more professional look so for that you have to go to insert pictures from the pictures library of yours you have to click down your own uh, logo for example my one of the designed logo will be here so i'll give you this as an example say for example this logo is there and that goes right here so it looks more professional look now if you want you can keep these shapes like this or if you want to look them a little better what you can do is you go into this drawing tools and in the shape fields you select no fills and you can also make this outlines look little more bulkier and easy to identify by increasing their weight then you can select uh, again the same thing for the other narrator host shape and that is there since this outline should be more easy to figure out when you are putting the videos in you can always make them more weightier and you can also uh, have uh, the color of the outline little bit contrast to the background so we'll make them white in color here so that can be easily seen while we are fitting the video frame or the picture frame into them so this makes one of our slide ready there are several options which you can select you can select this uh, particular to go into the bottom and your title might uh, go up you can have your host screen go on to one side of that particular thing and uh, there you are with the different kind of adjustments based upon your choice and your like or particular feel of that particular webcast you can design them one by one you can select the place for the logo also where you want to go so that's how it goes and that really works out fine for all of them so this is how it goes so now the next step would be to select out this particular overlay and save as a picture file which we can use in the obs for that you have to go to file menu select save as and you select the folder where it should go once it goes there you have to give them the number say for example i give it obs3 more importantly you have to select the type you have to select it as save as type to a png or a jpg format which can be easily handled in the obs now you give save the computer will ask which slide to export so you say just this one because lastly what we want is just this picture and not all the slides so that's all on the powerpoint aspect friends let's learn now how to utilize the image which we made in powerpoint now to the obs first of all we will have to create one more scene here and that scene will name as scene number 5 now to this scene add different things like monitor capture which will show the monitor capture then you have to add another thing which is no video capturing device which will capture your own video and uh, lastly we will have to add one more thing that is your image and uh, for that image we will have to utilize the same image which we uh, registered here as an obs so that image we will be utilizing uh, that was this image and uh, we will apply this image here now take this image to the uh, most back part so move down then we'll have to edit this scene and we'll uh, cut this video first we will uh, make it to the small size the image we will make it to the full screen and we'll let the image to go to the move down so it has gone down now we will have to adjust these two little things here one uh, that is our uh, obs the image has been now uh, settled back now this image is here on the background take this video first 
crop it uh, to the necessary area and that I'm doing with uh, pressing the alter tab and that's how we are doing this then you have to reduce the size to make it adjusted to the particular frame what we made remember that the lower areas are not so important so that you can crop easily here the upper one is also possible to edit so we'll crop that also now adjust from the side also so that you get an edge here last to adjust here would be this uh, screen capture that you have to adjust sometimes these uh, problems do occur that the size of the screen is uh, not fitting here the important things are usually not this scroll bars so you can very well edit and crop the, those areas otherwise you can refit them by altering the size of the particular window in the powerpoint itself and that's how you can do it okay so this is what we are doing and we are increasing it we'll cutting the lower edge a little bit so that it comes into that area so that's it friends now we have an obs broadcast ready to use we can use anything we have a video frame we have a monitor capture and our title our logo and everything doesn't it look professional well friends that was all about using an overlay on an obs using microsoft powerpoint thanks for joining with us friends if you have liked this particular video give us a like put your comments below and don't forget to subscribe us